Hi everyone! It's two weeks gone already. Can you believe that? Um, so I'm back today at the schoolhouse and I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel quilt. A little different pinwheel quilt. This is so dirty. I have this forever. I made this um, way back when we lived in Northern California probably. I don't know. How many years you think? 20? 20, 20. Maybe 20 years ago? Anyway, um, it, was one of the, it is the first quilt class I ever took. I kind of quilted on my own, but then I we moved um, to Northern California from Southern California, and I thought I would take a quilt class to meet new people, and this was the quilt we were making. And these little pinwheels are kind of freestanding on here. So that's what we're going to make. I'm going to show you how to do that. You may already know how, but if not, you can learn now. So this is the one I'm, I started the other day so that you could kind of see how it's, it goes together and it's in purples for you purple lovers and uh, okay so what I do is I take a three and a half inch square of my background fabric and you'll need four of those per block so let's just lay out here four and this is kind of a good one for you beginners too um, that want to learn how to make a quilt like you crystal so if you're paying attention you can make one of these so you put four squares out, which is going to be one block. And then you need four, th they're three and a half inches. So you need also four, three and a half inch of your color, which is going to be your pinwheel. So to make the pinwheel, I already have some done here, which this is what you're going to end up with. But what you do is you take the pinwheel fabric, you fold it in half, okay? There it is in half. You give that a little press. Make sure it's all lined up. You give it a press with your iron, not your fingers. And then you fold it over one more time, okay? And so now you have, this is also called a prairie point sometimes on quilts, like right here I did around the edges of this one. Can you look at this one? See, these are called prairie points. And so that's really the same method that you're using for this. So we fold them all together and you wanna make sure all your edges are nice and you know even on here but I'll use my ironed ones. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the prairie point. Let's see, you do it all in the same direction. So, so this is how I'm gonna do it. You lay it down, okay? And we're gonna do that for four of these. And we'll just go ahead and lay them in the same direction. It doesn't really matter, but um, make sure that your, the folded edge is over here to the left or to the right, but make sure they're all going in the same direction. So I'm gonna put them all to the, all over here on the left, my folded edge, okay? And just um, when you're lining it up down here, kind of make sure it's it goes from one end to the other, okay? It should fit from one end to the other. Don't have it over too much this way where you have a gap. Move it over, okay? And then give it a pin. And again, we're gonna do this one folded edge is over here on my left. That one's not ironed very good. Okay, there we go. Okay, pin. Just do all these and then pin it, pin it once and then you can sew them all at once. Kind of makes it go a little faster. Make sure it's centered. And you want to make sure that it's centered because when you do this and sew these together, you know, you want to end up with all your points in the middle meeting and um, then you'll leave a little, it'll end up with a quarter inch out here for your sewing so that you don't chop off any of your points. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is sew um, kind of a scant quarter inch, not really a quarter inch because you'll do the quarter inch on here. So this is just to hold down the uh, little points, and cut maybe even an eighth of an inch. I'm not doing the quarter inch. And you can see that there. Just because you don't want two seams showing when you sew, once you sew them all together. And if you kind of got larger on this one, it'll show. Okay, there's two. Ooh, it's hot in here. Three. And four. This is a 
great for a baby quilt. It goes pretty fast. Which is what I'm going to do with mine. Okay. So now we've got them all like this. All the same. All of them with our, our finished edges over here. This is finished too, but this is the folded edge. And now we're going to lay them down like this. And all go in a different direction and make your pinwheel. Let me make sure I got these lined up right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. This way. This way. This way. And that way. Okay. Got it? Can you see all those? And you can you can figure that out just by laying them down. You'll know what's wrong if it doesn't look like a pinwheel. Okay, and then we're gonna sew the top two together. Now we're gonna sew a quarter inch. And you just wanna match one end to the other end. You can pin if you want, but make sure you sew. And so, um, you know, don't go over on your quarter inch. Make sure you keep it at a quarter inch. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. So see how this is? Now, if I would have sewed less or I would have sewed this a quarter inch to begin with, I might have seen my, my little white stitches underneath there, but I don't. So, okay, now we're going to do this one. Quarter inch. And see, by, by sewing that eighth of an inch to begin with, you got those little stitches over here, and then you sewed your quarter inch so you were able to catch all of them. Okay, so we'll make sure it's all lined up again. And you can press these down if you want. I'm gonna just pin it and hold it in place because you wanna make sure that you're pressing it with that one going that way, this one going up, down, and over. And because you wouldn't wanna sew it by accident and have that baby flip. So let's pin it. And it's quite bulky underneath here. If you wanna, um, pin it, you know, separate it and open the seams, go ahead. Um, I just kind of go for it. It's, it's kind of a mess on the back of mine, but you know, I don't care. But if that bothers you, iron everything open um, as you're going along. Now we're going to sew a quarter inch again. And this is where the big lumpy, lumpy is. We have a block. Okay, so once you iron them all down, whoopsie, there we go. Can you see that? Okay, not too tough. And so what I did then was I just put a little sashing. I'm gonna put sashing in between here, each one of these. Um, and this came out to be, measure yours before you cut your sashing, but this came out to be six and a half inches. So I cut my um, sashing strip six and a half by two and a quarter. You can, you can do it any size. You can do six and a half by three if you want to make your quilt bigger, but I did two and a quarter. And then when I put it together, I'll have um, my sashing going like this. And then in the corner here, I'm gonna cut um, a two and a quarter inch square of this fabric and that's how I'm gonna set my quilt when I'm done okay so I hope that made sense this is the block I made just kind of testing measurements and this was a three and a half inch square here but I did these three inches and so see how when I sewed them together I had a little bit more of a space between them and that's all right too I just kind of liked them all butted up together but that's another idea if you want this is three inches this is three and a half inches okay all right so the fabrics i used are all in my shop of course they are and this is um toy chest 2 by penny rose this is in the shop and i'm, I'm guessing like i cut a yard of each one and i don't know how far it'll get me but that's what i'm going with right now for the baby quilt is a yard of each one because you're going to use the same amount on this one as you do on this one because it takes four squares for each block of each color. This one you use a little less but this would also be cute for the binding so that's what I'm going to do my binding in. And that one is the Small Gingham by Riley Blake. Um, that's in my shop. 
and this one is Toy Chest 2, and that's a Michelle. I have some pin dot coming in the lavender from Riley Blake, which I think is what I'll put on the back of mine. Um, so I think that's it. Anybody have any questions, let me know. And um, I'm thinking next month or in two weeks, I think we'll make pillowcases. All right. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye.